have arrived at Malvern Hills Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Not been here before, so it'll be interesting. Nice evening. Hello everyone, welcome back to Bella's Big Adventures. If you're new here, my name's Sue and this is our namesake, Bella. We have got the dogs with us today. I'll just show you Bonnie because she's still sleeping. Hello, Bond. Say hello to your fans. They haven't seen you for quite some time, have they? I think it's a whole year since you've both been in the van. Doug's just starting off some breakfast here. We've got some bacon and sausage on the go. And it seems to be quite a nice day for change. It's been raining so much recently, but Bella's eager to get going. But we've got to do breakfast first. Bella's got to do breakfast. So we haven't got an awful lot planned for today. Just a bit of a stroll with the dogs in the mud. <laughs> and then we're probably going to put up the awning because um, it really needs re-waterproofing. So um, we're possibly going to have a look at doing that. We've got the fluid in the, in the boot. Um, and what we're going to use is this Fabacil Gold Universal Concentrated Protector. Unfortunately, it says to apply it with a paintbrush, which we don't have with us at the minute, and also to apply to a clean thing. So that the plan today will be put the awning up and clean the roof properly, let it dry out while it's nice and sunny. It's got to be a dry day, and obviously it takes up to six hours to dry but I was recommended this by the Hogs group on Facebook that I go to, so fingers crossed it does the job. So as I say, we're at Malvern Hills campsite. It's quite busy, as you can see. It is a weekend, but it's a big site. I think it's got 200 odd pictures. Everybody seems to be on hard surface at the minute because obviously uh, we've had a lot of rain recently, so it's very wet on the grass. So we are going to put up the awning, but first things first, we're going to wind out the Omnister awning and uh, clean it. Unfortunately, our LED strip stopped working about 20 dots in, so we're going to try and remove that as well and get a replacement. Now I know the one from Thor is about £100 plus. Doug's just having a little nosy to see what's what. It's got a plastic cover on it which just peels off, it's very dirty. We've got a dimmer switch on it so we need to work out how it attaches. It must be in the end I would imagine. Um, yeah, we might have to find a screwdriver or something, I don't know how it attaches to be fair. And we haven't got a big ladder with us have we? The first thing we're going to do, because it's been wound up with horrible bits of cobwebs and spiders and things is clean the actual rollout awning because as you can see there's some mouldy cobwebs and things and last time we just cleaned it with a long pole brush and some soapy water and it came up quite well it's absolutely filthy we have got it booked in for a valet um, but not until may so being stored outside all winter didn't do it any favors to be fair but anyway, right, let's get to it. Get a bucket of hot soapy water. Of course, we pulled up late last night and didn't fill up the van with water. So, so first job is go and get some water. Because obviously we've parked up and leveled, we don't want to move the van to the service area. So we're just going to take the rolly, the rolly thing over to the tap. So this is one of the service blocks. There's wastewater and fresh water just there. I'm off to find a kitchen or something to get some hot water. Chemical waste point. Laundry. I suspect there'll be hot water in there, eh? Let's have a look. Quite a fancy looking washing machine. And tumble dryer. Arm tokens as usual. It was five pounds now, it used to be four. And one twenty-five for fifteen minutes of uh, tumble drying. Prices have gone up everywhere, obviously. Very hot. Just say caution, very hot water just there. <laughs> They're not joking. That is scaldingly hot. Right. Let's have a bit of cold as well. I don't know if you can see over there in the distance is reception and a big storage area. So you can store your vans here. 
This is the facilities, shut between 2 and 3.30 for the gents there. It's very peaceful here, I have to say, despite the fact that there are a lot of people here. Well, not push button at least. Fairly basic, the usual thing, but you know, clean and tidy, that's the main thing. And lots of hot water, even better. And as you can see, beautiful view of the Malvern Hills there. Right, got a bucket of hot water. Doug's just gonna use our window cleaning pole see if we can get that bit of green mould off if it extends doesn't it so that's it I should be able to reach Ooh, it's really really long <laughs> the strips falling off do a little bit of fiddling with the actual cleaner because the velcro fell off <laughs> We now have it stuck on with double-sided sticky tape, so hopefully it'll stay on long enough for us just to do it. It seems to be just the underside that's dirty, weirdly. The top side doesn't look too bad. Oops, getting dripped on. <laughs> Go on your head, at least it doesn't get your hair wet. Dead flies and cobwebs off at least, so that's a start. Hey. Huh? I'll we'll just leave it out for a minute. We can have a get the chairs out and have a coffee outside. Bring the dogs out, let them get some fresh air, and then um, obviously we're going to put the awning up. Right, our well, dog finishes that off. I'm going to get the kettle on, make a cup of coffee or something, and then we'll sit out under the awning while it dries and then we'll put the prop awning out um, and give that a looking at because it's been stored as well for six months and not been used and get the dogs outside because they must be bored sitting in here by now. So. How are you doing girly whirlies? Careful! <laughs> Good girl Bella. Some bunny juice sit please. Sit. Good girls. Now to get the water into the van. Um, we did cobble together a sort of little water pump which you will have seen if you watched our Burford video. It's basically a, a caravan whale water pump and some food grade hose and a 12 volt socket which we have to plug in through the bedroom window. And once you plug that together it starts pumping. It's not uber fast, <laughs> but it does sometimes pop out. Considering it's only April, it's really nice. I mean, the wind's slightly cool, but the sun's lovely. So, as soon as we get these, uh, the awning up, deck chairs are coming out, and obviously we have to take dogs for a walk. It is very muddy though, um, so that will involve more water washing them down, no doubt. <laughs> One thing I do do after I've done this is add a little bit of aquasol to this because you never quite get all the water out even with a pump and I don't want any sort of water going off in it. So. Looks a bit dirty too. I'm not sure it would fit in my washing machine now. Well, that's the girls quiet for two seconds. They've got their elevenses and we've got our flasks of coffee because once again, I would like to say I've just bought a flask to keep it warm, but actually I, I forgot the cups. Ah <laughs> oh dear, is that nice, Bo? Mmm, lovely. The sun's gone in a little bit. It's sort of kicking out time now. Next door's just gone. How are we doing? No, shush. 
You still sound there. You're grumbling. You're grumbling because you can hear other doggies barking. You don't need to join in. Right, back to trying to remember how to put the awning up. It didn't run in the track quite as smoothly as usual. Probably needs a bit of um, silicon spray or some grease or something. But as we remember, you've got to tie down the back corners first and then we start pumping it up. We have got a, a lazy person's pump this time and hopefully we remember to close the slots to the right place because last time we did it by the hand pump and we hadn't closed the valves. Well, it's up. <laughs> it's obviously been a while since we did it. I think the last time we put it up was Winchester, which has got to be a year ago. The girls now have a little bit more space. Bonnie's still under the table because she's trying to spy on the neighbours. So she doesn't like people, but she's very nosy at the same time. <laughs> time for a drink and a little rest. It's quite warm today, and obviously this is intensifying the heat. It was my intention to walk into the village. <laughs> But putting the awning up has pooped us out, but we've got all afternoon and we've got tomorrow morning as well, so... I'm just going to make my way across the grass. It's not, I mean, it's not as boggy as the dog walk. I mean, that was unbelievably squelchy. Sometimes weekends are just about chilling out and relaxing. I mean, this area is lovely and in the summertime, I suspect, when the grass isn't so squelchy, uh, it would be a great place to park, especially by that bug house in the middle over there. But yeah, um, I took Bella into the dog walk, which is very pretty. Little woodland, very pretty, little wood chips and everything. But it is under a oh, good six inches of mud at the moment because of all the rain we've been having so not ideal uh, unless you want to be washing your dog down every five minutes so obviously there's places to take your dogs out there is a little bit of noise at the minute and that is basically because the three counties uh, showground has got a motorbike thing on i uh, can't remember what it's called kickstart or something like that um anyway classic motorbike thing so every now and then you hear them roaring around it is a big big sight just doing the tour to have a look around. I think there's over 200 pictures. You've got the Malvern Hills in the background there. So we've got another motorhome service point here to drive over an empty waste and get some fresh water. So there we've got reception, which sells the usual ice cream. And we've got an information centre. Walking around the other side of the campsite now. As I say, it is big. And on this side, actually, you've got great views, especially if you're on these um, grass pitches. You'd have great views of the hills from here. Morning, all. Uh, we had a lovely peaceful night last night. It was really quiet. We've done absolutely nothing. I'm sorry this video is not going to be that exciting. Uh, it is literally just to get the girls who are one there, one there, <laughs> uh, get the girls used to being in the van again. And they seem to be fine. Bonnie hasn't um, barked too much at the people going by. Um, she's not keen, as I say. But I'm going to get her some training. But first things, we've got to get her neutered um, or spayed, whatever it is for girls. That's coming up in June. But we will have a few more weekends away before then just to try and get used to being out and about again. Uh, yeah, next week we'll be doing some stuff more local to us probably. Um, yeah, so we're going to pack up the van, pack up the awning and hit the road. I'll speak to you in a bit. Just got to fold her up. At least it's not raining, eh? Right. We've got it rolled into thirds. <laughs> now we've just got to squeeze all the air out of it. I'm sitting on it mostly. <laughs> Very becoming, eh? Things you have to do to squash your awning back into its bag. And there she is in the bag. Just got to put all these bits and bobs in there as well now. If you want to see a video about us putting up and taking down this 
um, air pro dometic awning we did do a video about that some time ago and i'll link it in the description right this is us leaving um malvern hills caravan and motorhome club site it's quite early but we want to get back and get in the garden and you know you have to be out by 12 i think anyway so downside with being a tall left-hand driver is you can't reach the barrier um, thing to get out it's got to touch your fob on that little metal thing just there here's the fob there. as you can see it's a beautiful sunny day it's not as warm as it looks <laughs> but it is warming up because I think it's about 10 degrees at the minute and that's the entrance to the camping and caravanning site. Turn right onto Blackmore End. Not very far from the Three Counties showground this place so if you want to go to any events there this is a perfect stop. Although you can park there apparently you've got to go right. To... So this is walkable from the site, it's called Hanley Swan. There's a lovely pub, funnily enough called The Swan. And a bit of a pond opposite this pub so if you want to sit out and in the beer garden it would be very pretty. Not sure what else there is to do in the village, there's a butcher's I know that much and a little shop. So here's the pub on the left, very nice, nice beer garden, and here's the pond on my right. So we're just going to take her back to the storage depot and uh, we'll see you again next week. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, why not hit that subscribe button and ding that bell for future notifications so that you don't miss any of Bella's big adventures.